So I just created this dope website with Wix. Let me show you how I did it. What's going on? Mike Baker here. Today I want to talk about websites, okay? Boring. Very boring. Don't care, right? But you do now because you're a business owner and you've been ignoring it. And it's time to like take it seriously. Like you've already gone down the road. You've had your nephew build it like in 2013 and now he's in like college and doesn't care. Um, or you've got some beat free Wix site with like ads on it and it's just awful, right? You're, you're like hurting your business by having a terrible website or no website at this point. So what do you do? Where do you turn to? Okay. So someone like me, I will work for a small business small business owner directly. Um, I'll work for a notable individual, like an author or a comedian or an actor or someone like that. And I will take all of their assets, their whole world, and wrap it up into a professional package and display that on the internet and connect it properly to Google and all the social media channels that that individual or that entity has available. And if they have nothing extra, they just have the website, then that's what they get. So how do I go about doing that? Why is it so hard for everybody to pull this together? Because, well, there's a lot of different things going on these days. There's a lot of advice that you can get that's just terrible. Um, and you have a lot of different options and things that you can sign up for that sound good at the time. You've been roped in through good marketing, but they're not really good ideas, right? They're not really good options once you get in and try to make it happen for yourself. Um, so what I do is I build custom WordPress websites. Now what that even means is like there's this software out there called WordPress and it, it creates the underlying foundation and architecture for a rock solid website. Upon WordPress, you give it a paint job. So you consider it like framing a house and putting up the sheetrock and you know, you kind of get the taping and you get all the electric electrical components and the plumbing. I don't know anything about building houses, but I know a lot about building websites. All I'm saying is, at the end of the day, it's it's a foundation and a framework, and then you put a paint job on top of that and um, gloss it and, and finalize it and give it your touches, right? And it's sound, and it works well, and it's mobile-friendly, and it's tablet-friendly, and it's desktop-friendly. So what do you need? What are the core components of what you need? It depends on your business. It depends on your industry. depends on who you are, what you're trying to say. Okay, so if you're a hair salon, you need a menu and a phone number and a map and some photos of awesome work that you've done. Okay, if you're an agency, you need to display a portfolio and list the brands that you've worked with and the kind of work that you're doing and the kind of people and, and businesses that you're trying to attract. If you're an author, you probably want to have your body of work up there and all the books that you've created in a listing of some kind of order that people can go find all the books you've created, buy them and learn more about you and you know and see where you're going to be if you have events hosted or anything like that where they can do meet and greets whatever like whatever you are whatever you do you create and tailor this little perfect thing for yourself now it doesn't have to be big and honestly I don't think the bigger website is better anymore. I don't think you need to have 10,000 pages and all these gateway pages and all this other stuff. You just need to have the information to be accurate. You need the words on the screen to say exactly what it is that you're trying to say and convey the message properly. You need it to display on a mobile. You need to display it on a desktop. And you need people to make the phone call. And you need a place, if you plan to advertise, if you want to advertise your business on the internet, which everyone does now, you need a place to send people that makes them feel comfortable enough to either call you, email you, or buy right on your website, whatever that is. So you're creating a space that's giving and providing a level of comfort, validity, love that word validity, but it's corny, but it really is true. Like you, you, you validate your existence and your presence by having this professional place. Like if you went to a restaurant and you sat down and the restaurant made like just the most amazing food ever. But like you looked in the kitchen and you saw like food on the ground and it was like a disaster and like look like messed up. You look up and you have like stained ceiling tiles and it just looks like kind of shoddy and you're like, Ugh, this looks old. You know, I don't, I don't really, I'm not really sure if I trust this place. Then you go to the bathroom and it stinks and you know what? I don't really trust this restaurant. It's, it's kind of, it's weird. It's, it's falling apart. I don't like it. People feel the same way about your website. If you throw people to some website that's all beat up from 2012 and it's got some big goofy picture and text off to the right and you got some ad or you've got hacked or whatever happens to these little small business websites that I, that I help, 
um, you're going to lose people. It's not going to help anything. And chances are, if you've let that slip, then you've let your Google presence slip. People can't find you properly. You're just losing out constantly um, if you have a terrible website these days. The website, you know, once it's up and running and live and you've got it done professional, it's, it's going to work for you. It's going to help you. But it's never done. Not anymore. And people hate that. They hate that so much like you get a website built it's never done it's gonna need security patches it's gonna need updates it's gonna need new content new sections new hours new seasonal offerings like new something and you keep people coming back to it and keep it look relevant and keep it fresh and it's gonna really work for you if you decide to ignore all of the things that I just mentioned I think it's gonna cause you a big problem nowadays you know your competition isn't going to ignore it. Your competition's putting money into advertising and putting money into advertising pages on their website that people land on and it converts them into, they're putting money into making sure that their website is really fast and putting money into making sure that their website looks good on every device. So think about what your competition's doing. If you don't believe they're doing it, look them up. Like take a look at who you like basically are in competition with and see what they've got going on. See if you can compare apples to apples like, like is it worth it for me to invest because my competition's beating me every time I turn around um, and I can't I can't win the war so I'm gonna have to give in and do this thing right so if you want to get it done right give me a yell my name is Mike Baker I help small businesses notable individuals harness everything get it into one concise easy to navigate package that will work for them and their specific needs and requirements or their unique situation to be presented properly to the earth the whole the whole earth yeah mike baker web guy give me a call i'll help you peace